Good morning, guys. It is five after nine on Thursday. I haven't put makeup on yet, so I've just put some cream on my face. That's why it's shiny. But I want to show you what we woke up to this morning. So, supposed to stop around three o'clock and be beautiful sunshine, and in the 70s, we're supposed to lose some of this humidity. Have a look at houses, and then you wonder what's going on in them. Is everybody happy? Are they getting ready for work? Have they left for work? Do they have the day off? Are they going on vacation soon? Are they expecting a baby? Are they sad? Sometimes I look at all the houses and wonder what's going on. Rooftops. So today. I'm not really going to do a lot. With it being this rainy weather, I have to be very careful because this is what started my back off the week before last. And then I do one thing because I can already feel that ball and I'm not going to push it this this week. So I'm going to sit in the living room, I'm going to take everything down. I'm going to catch up on vlogs again. I, I catch up, then I get behind, then I catch up, then I get behind. Let me go put on a bit of makeup and then I'm going downstairs and uh, I think a bacon sandwich is in order for this morning. It's perfect weather. I can't really go anywhere anyway because I have to wait for UPS. Oh well, what are you going to do? Anyway guys, I'm going to go get ready. Roxy and Louie have exerted themselves enough. Roxy did not want to eat breakfast this morning so I have to keep an eye on her. I think when it gets really hot it affects her. I felt her little paw pads last night were so hot, poor little thing. But they will stay with me today and they will be fine. I'm going to go put the air on down in the living room and the fans on so they'll be okay. <laughs> but right now they don't look too perturbed. Talk to you in a bit guys. Bye. Alright guys, it's going to be one of those days where I'm chasing UPS. Um, or you know what I mean. They're going to come up and down the street like 900 times before they actually come here to uh, deliver our packages. I bet it's 10 o'clock now. 10 o'clock now, and I bet you any money they don't come until about 4 or 5 o'clock this afternoon. Probably while Katie's here and I'm chase, trying to chase the dogs to catch them and uh, bring all the packs, packages in. There probably should only be like 4 or 5 boxes, but they're going to be heavy. They always are. And I can't leave them out because it's raining. Just put the recyclable bins in and it's just spitting a little bit. Maybe it will stop by then. But a uh, UPS truck just went flying up the hill. So now I'm like, is he going to turn around, come back here? I don't know. Last time we waited and waited and waited and look what happened. He didn't come till that night um, when I stepped out to get coffee and a day early. So I'm just about to make a bacon sandwich. I've just got the little toaster oven all preheated. Right there. <laughs> right there. So now I'm going to make a bacon sandwich and enjoy it. Oh, and put the kettle on for a cup of tea. Because I like a cup of tea with my bacon. What do you like with your bacon? What do you prefer to drink? I would love some orange juice, but I don't have any. I have my orange squash, which I'll probably have after. But I'm really tired. This weather makes you tired. But I was fair play. I was up at 5.30 again this morning, so. Anyway, I will talk to you all in a wee while. Bye. Bacon's in. Sizzle, sizzle. Not yet, just put it in. Hi again, I just want to wish Neil and Elaine a very happy anniversary. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I hope you celebrate well. Um, I think you said you're going out this weekend, I can't remember. But I hope you have a wonderful anniversary and we're sending you lots of love and hugs. Happy anniversary, guys. It's been a long time, but I've made a bacon sani. It turned out to be such a pretty day. It was raining till about 2.30. The sun came out around 4. And there's Louie yelling at the UPS man. The sun looks cool through here. It is 10 to 8. I have waited for the UPS man all day long. He just showed up now. I just let Louie downstairs because he was crying to go out and I was just about to take Roxy out. You can hear Louie barking with the windows open. I want to thank Rocky. I got a surprise in the mail today. You are so kind and thoughtful. 
So I got this gift pack. It's questions! So now you guys will get a question. There's a hundred and something in here. So you, at least for the next 150 days, you'll get a question without me sitting there going, what can I ask? What can I ask? So Rocky, thank you so much. That is so thoughtful. And I've been reading through some of the questions. They're really cool. And, you know, with these two, they will spark other questions off within me. <sighs> oh, every time I try and talk on this, someone calls me or the dogs bark or someone comes to the door. I had a student come to the door today I had the mailman bought the box that uh, Rocky had sent me and he said, is this yours? And I said, well, it has my name on it and it has my street on it. And he said, yeah, but this here says apartment and you're not an apartment. I said, but you know me. You've delivered to me. You've been delivering to me for about the last six months. All my other mail is here, the same name. Really? You're going <laughs> to... Oh, dear. It makes me wonder where sometimes where half our mail goes and the fact that we do... A lot of people tell us they're not receiving their pictures. I tell you, this post office around here does my head in, does it in. But anyway, Rocky, thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate it, and I hope you're feeling better. I saw your message on Facebook um, that you've been getting these wicked headaches, and there's no vlog today. You just take care of you. Um, we will all be here when you are up to vlogging again. Um, wish I was closer and we could give you a hand. But by the time I get there, you'll probably be feeling better. <laughs> but anyway, feel better. We love you. And I said earlier, happy anniversary to Elaine and Neil, Elaine 12 Jones. If you guys know her and you haven't been over to her channel today, it's hers and her hubby's wedding anniversary. Sorry, I feel like I have a bit of fluff in my eye. That's all you need is to watch me taking fluff out of my eye. Sorry, I was just watching... Um, the Long Island medium and I was having a good cry. <laughs> she was doing a reading at um, a, a group meeting, a group reading and I was just having a little cry at it. I would love, I actually wrote her to see about getting on her wait list and I guess even getting emails to her takes forever. That was months ago I wrote. Um, her wait list I think is something like three years. I appreciate each and every one of you. You guys make my day. When I was feeling rough for that period of time with my back, you were all still there and you let me whinge and moan and nobody picked on me, yelled at me, told me to grow up or get over it. So I appreciate each and every one of you. I'm really, really getting caught up. I've still got a few channels to go visit and catch up on, but I'm making my rounds and um, really trying to catch up. I did quite well this morning for a while. And then Katie's truck showed up 15-20 minutes early today. So I had Katie and she wasn't in the best of moods at first but then she calmed down a bit and she left at 6. Ash was at work. She got home. I think she got home around, what time was it? Quarter to 4, 4 o'clock? Uh, she had a long day. Um, so it wasn't bad but they they're um, they cut a lot of people, so she was on her own in her section, whereas usually you have two, at least two people with you. And then uh, Pete got home. What time did he get back? He walked in the door about 6.30, quarter of 7, I think. And he's brought editing home to do, because he starts another um, job tomorrow, so he's just got to edit the pictures he took today the, on the commercial stuff he's doing. I've got my bedroom down to 77, which is a huge difference from last night. Last night was like 86, and it was so hot. It was very uncomfortable last night. Ash has gone out. She's gone over to her boyfriend's house. And I'm going to go down now and uh, take Roxy out and suss something out for dinner, because I'm getting quite peckish, I am. It's too bad England lost today. I was rooting for them, and when they brought it to a tie, it was one all at one point. I was like so excited and then pfft, it lost 2-1. What are we going to do? But anyway, let's pick the first question out of the box and then I'm probably going to call it a night because I want to... Um, I haven't even watched The English Big Brother so you know how, how it is. I'm behind on that like three days. I don't know. Is it... Is it... Um, have they got rid of someone else? I don't know. 
I don't know when they were having the, uh, can't even think of the word, when someone's voted out. So anyway, your question out of the box for today, thanks again Rocky. Oh, I'm under the light now so I look really bright. What is the greatest lesson in life you have ever learned? So, I'm going to have a think on that one and I will answer it tomorrow because obviously the greatest lesson in life I don't know I'm gonna have to think on that one so how about you guys oh I really love these questions Rocky thank you Claire it was lovely chatting with you for that little bit this afternoon we were texting back and forward so, um, I can't believe you're gonna be here in six weeks it is flying by I remember when you first told me you were coming to New York what was it 16 weeks longer than that it's been a long time that we you've been doing the countdown but six weeks that's actually less than six weeks now isn't it? it's like five weeks and five days something like that i'll have to have a look i know the last one you sent me was six weeks one day and that was a couple of days ago but amazing it's amazing but that my friends is it for now um i hope everybody has had a wonderful thursday it's friday tomorrow Wow. When you vlog, I know I've said this before, but I think because we vlog, it goes quicker. Or it could be because I'm old. But these days just keep flying by. They are zooming by. Oh, but one cool thing. My sister-in-law went up to Maine. Um, you know, Pete's mum and dad have a cabin up there that they usually go to in the summer. But because of Pete's dad's health, the last two years, they haven't been able to go up. I know they're hoping to go up for a little while this year. I don't know whether it be a week or two weeks or or what. Um, sometime in August, I think they said. Depending if some other family member can go up with them, I think is the deal. But anyway, my sister-in-law and her boyfriend went and opened up the cabin. And in, she asked if there was anything we wanted bringing back. Now, in Maine is the only place I've ever seen these crisps, potato chips made by Humpty Dumpty. Colleen, you may know them, and they're cheese and onion. And we all know I'm a cheese and onion crisp potato chip fan, and you can't get them around here unless from the English store or the Irish deli. But for the little bags, they cost an arm and a leg. But I get them, I'm not going to lie. But they have this brand. It's an American brand or a Dutch brand, I'm not sure, but they sell them in Maine only. And I've tried ordering them them online even through Amazon they just don't have them so my sister-in-law went up and she sent me a note on Facebook yesterday saying I got them for you so I'm so excited I know it's so stupid to be so excited about food but they're really tasty and um, she got a couple of bags for us and she's going to bring them over this weekend so I'm really looking forward to that anyway that was off the beaten track a little bit I, again, I hope everyone had a wonderful Thursday. Whatever you did today, I hope it was a lot of fun. Whatever you're up to tonight, rest, take care of yourselves, and I will see you all tomorrow for Friday. And go visit John, he'll sing you the Friday song. Or go visit Steve, and Sophie will sing you the Friday song too, because she sings it for John every week. Take care, guys, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye now.